Hi everyone, it's Thursday, and today it's the day that we're going to read Nuffle Bunny 2. But before I start reading, I want to introduce you to somebody else. Oh, this is Abby. She's our littlest kitten, and she's the sweetest one. She is not going to bite me today. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's purring. She's saying hello. All right, are you ready for Nuffle Bunny 2? Bye, Abby. Nuffle Bunny 2. Look how Mo Willems wrote the word 2. Usually 2, the number is T-W-O, but he wrote 2, T-O-O, which means also. Because in this book, Trixie has a Nuffle Bunny, but somebody else has a Nuffle Bunny 2. Nuffle Bunny 2 by Mo Willems. A Case of Mistaken Identity. Oh, there's two Nuffle Bunnies. Here's Trixie's parents when they were younger, Trixie when she was born, Trixie with her Nuffle Bunny from Nuffle Bunny 1. Oh, and what's going to happen in this one? One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margo, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Tashi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then and talk and talk and talk. Trix Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! Where are they going? School. There they go, up the stairs, into the classroom. Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Miss Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Uh oh, look at Sonia. Look who Sonia's holding. Suddenly, Trixie's one of a kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one of a kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Now, look, Trixie and Sonia are arguing. Knuffle, Nuffle, Knuffle, Nuffle. The afternoon was worse. What's happening in that last picture? Look at Trixie's face and Sonia's face. If you're watching this with somebody in your family, tell them what's happening and tell them what Trixie's feeling and what Sonia's feeling. If you're not watching it with anybody, just say it to me right now. You can pause the video and tell me. When the school bell rang, Ms. Greengrove returned the Nuffle Bunnies. And the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Slurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, there's Trixie sleeping, 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 uh -oh. Trixie realized something. What did she realize? Now, 
Did we read that before Trixie realized something? If you're remembering when we read Nuffle Bunny yesterday, look at this. Here it is again. Trixie realized something. Look how little she is. Now, what did she realize? Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, that is not my bunny. How did she get the wrong bunny? Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Does it look like they can deal with it in the morning? Nope. Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Before he even made it down the stairs, bring, the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. Who's that man who's calling? Could it be Sonia's dad? We have yours, Trixie's daddy replied. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. <laughs> Look at Tri Trixie's face. She's really excited to get her Nuffle Bunny back. Okay, now this one is my favorite picture in the whole book. Look at this. Trixie did not want to be late. So this is a photograph of New York City at night. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna to try to get close enough so that you can see. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you can see them in there. Sonia and her daddy, there they are. There's Sonia and her daddy. And there's Trixie and her daddy. Neither did Sonia. There was an exchange. And the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end. But after the end, Mo Willems wrote something called an epilogue. An epilogue is something that comes after the story is finished. The next morning, both Trixie and Sonia rushed to school. The new best friends had a lot of catching up to do. Do you want to play with my Nuffle Bunny? Sure, do you want to play with mine? Look at the daddies. What are they thinking right now? <laughs> it looks like they did not sleep very much last night. The end. I hope you like that Nuffle Bunny too. Tomorrow, we will read Nuffle Bunny 3. So the last thing I'm going to tell you about today is when you look in the description for today's video, remember you're going to look under the video and you'll see some writing. There's going to be a link there for an experiment from our friends at Mystery Science because today is Thursday and we always do science on Thursdays. So if you follow that link, you'll see our friend Doug telling us about the cutest animals and you can also see there's other mysteries on there that you can explore with your family whenever you want to. Um, Mystery Science is one of a lot of different programs that now are having free access for families at home. So if you're watching this with somebody in your family, tell them about that and you can go on their website and watch all the different experiments, the ones we've done in class and some other ones that we haven't done yet before. I'm going to get Abby to say goodbye to you before I go. Goodbye, friends. 
We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.